one of the most important tools for any college student is a laptop. But with so many brands and operating systems, finding the right one can be quite the headache. If you're an incoming college freshman or the parent or guardian of one, you may be wondering what laptop you should get. Well, that's the point of this video. I've been using the 2019 MacBook Air, and this is the puppy to get. If you're willing to forgive some obvious missteps by Apple, and you can afford it. This is the first Apple laptop I've ever owned. I've had both Windows laptops and Chromebooks, but so far my experience with the MacBook has been nothing but fantastic. The machine is light, weighing a little over two and a half pounds. It has a great, bright, colorful 13 inch screen with true tone and a built in blue light filter. So your colors are gonna match inside, outside, under fluorescent, LED light, whatever. It has a great battery. I can usually get six to seven hours of battery life a day out of it. It uses USB Type-C for charging, which is a little strange uh, because Apple's iPhones use USB Type-A or Apple's proprietary charger, but it works great for me because my Android phone uses USB Type-C. The design and build quality are amazing. It's made out of unibody aluminum, so it feels great, feels sturdy, and looks sharp. I mean, it's an Apple product after all. But the greatest strengths of this bad boy are Mac OS and the keyboard. At first, it was a little difficult to get used to Mac OS, but now that I've been using it for about a year, it is fantastic. It's fast, it's snappy, it's great for multitasking, going between different apps. It's great. The keyboard is the best laptop keyboard I have ever used, period. I'm not pulling your leg. It's super, super good. The keys are spaced perfectly. They have great travel. They are wicked comfortable and have actually made me a faster and more accurate typer. I cannot praise the keyboard enough. The trackpad is glass and it's really great too. If you have an iPhone, you can take advantage of AirDrop and iMessage, which work great between the iPhone and Mac, or so I hear. Sadly, I may never know as I use Android. With all the greatness of this machine, there are bound to be some not so great things. First is the hard drive. There are only two models, 128 gig and 256 gig, and that's it. No expandable storage options, you're stuck with what you get. This is just completely unacceptable in 2019. It was unacceptable in 2016. This wouldn't be so bad if the machine didn't cost $1,000 for just 128 or $1,200 for 256. I bet this small hard drive is done on purpose so Apple can push its iCloud services, which me no likey. I don't want to have to download my stuff from a cloud every time I want to use it. Give me a decent hard drive for the price. The webcam also sucks. It's terrible. It's bad. Probably one of the worst webcams I've ever used. Which would normally be fine. I don't really ever use it. But lately, due to the current state of the world right now, everything is online. Everything is through Zoom, and having a good webcam is very, very important. I don't understand why Apple couldn't just take an iPhone camera and place it in this thing. It would be a million times better than whatever crappy camera they have in it now. With any machine, we need to understand the cost to benefit ratio. 
My major, as well as being a student employee, I spend a lot of time on the computer. Many, many hours of typing and Zoom meetings and other things like that. So I need a computer that has great battery life, great keyboard, great speakers, so I'm able to do all the work I need to do on this computer. I also need a computer that can run our studio. If you know what our studio is, I'm so, so sorry. If you have an iPhone and are part of the Apple ecosystem and you don't have a MacBook, I don't know what you're doing. But if you're part of a major that doesn't require massive CPU heavy programs like Photoshop, InDesign, our studio, Unity, Final Cut Pro, etc. You can probably get by with just a basic, much cheaper computer. If you don't care about Apple's ecosystem and you just can't justify spending a thousand dollars, especially now, for a computer, check out a Chromebook or a cheap Windows laptop. I know what you're thinking. Chromebooks? What? Those chunky, creaky plastic machines that kids use? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Google and its manufacturing partners have really come a long way in making Chromebooks look and feel more like MacBooks, more like real laptops. I used to have one. I used to have the Asus Chromebook Flip C302. Yeah, the name is dumb, I don't like it either. But it's a solid machine. But again, so are Google Pixel Slate and Samsung Chromebook Plus. These are affordable, fast, and have really good battery life. If you need a basic machine that can do basic tasks, such as Word documents and Zoom meetings, and you don't want to spend $1,000, get one of these. However, with that said, for this college student, the 2019 MacBook Air is the best of the best, at least for me. For the way I use my computers, it's the best laptop I've ever had. If you want a Mac laptop, but you don't want to spend $1,000, you can get 2018 or 2017 MacBooks for relatively cheap. But I needed something new, something fast, and you know, it doesn't hurt to flex a little bit if you can, right? If you have any questions or comments or anything, if you hate my stupid face, Put it all down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.